Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina, Side Hustle Queen, Crafting and Vacationing. Welcome to another one of my videos. Um, I hope everyone had a great week this week. And um, thank you for joining me again this Sunday. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to mix epoxy. I know a lot of you guys have seen my, my cups and my glasses and my water bottles. And I really wanted to show you guys how I get the clear coat on um, my bottles, my tumblers, my glasses, my wine glasses. Um, also, um, if you don't have a turning machine in order to use epoxy, um, don't, don't turn this video off because I am going to give you some tips on ways that you still can make these beautiful cups and without having to use epoxy. So I will give you guys some tips if you don't have the equipment that I have. A lot of this equipment that I do have, um, especially like my full cup turner, I made that myself out of PV, PVC pipe and a rotisserie turner from Brandsmart. I can link you um, guys the video on how I did that. If you want it, just say, you know, leave a comment and say, hey Regina, could you um, share the video where you found how to make the cup turner, the full cup turner, use a PV, PVC pipe. I never could say that right. And now um, it wasn't my video, but I will link the video that I saw in order to make my full cup turner. If you follow me on Facebook, if you're in my Facebook group, I'm pretty sure you done seen my glasses turning on the full cup turner. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're watching this through my YouTube channel and you're not a part of the YouTube family, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are not following me on Facebook in my face group, Facebook group, Side Hustle Queen, Crafting and Vacationing, I will leave the link in the description bar so you can join my group. I do do exclusive um, um, previews on projects that I'm working on every week. I also give crafting tips. So let's get right into this video on how I mix my epoxy. Some of the things that you're gonna need is um, popsicle sticks. I got these right from the Dollar Tree. Uh, actually it's 16 a pack, so these will last a while. I always look for different types of bargains in, um, in order to do my crafting projects. I have the amazing clear coat. Now when I first started using this clear coat, this is the only, well I did use Dr. Crafty one time on when I started doing my DIY dominoes, but what I found with Dr. Crafty is when the dominoes actually set, they were still rubbery-like. But with this clear coat, I did do a set of dominoes with the, um, the amazing clear coat, and they came out rock hard. So this is the clear coat that I use right now. There's a lot of clear coats out there, you know, that different people use. This is the one that I use. I get it from Amazon. Well, I used to get it from Amazon, because it was easier just to order it online and have it free delivered because I, I'm an Amazon Prime member. But I started finding out that Michaels and Hobby Lobby um, carry it. So I'm able to buy it at Michaels now and use 20% um, off, 50% off, 40% off, whatever coupon they have available for that week. So I actually get it cheaper by getting it from Michaels. I also, Hobby Lobby, a lot of times they be sold out because Hobby Lobby have a 40% off coupon. So, you know, these boxes, whether you buy them from Michaels, Hobby Lobby, or Amazon, they run about $30 a box. So if they, when Hobby Lobby have them in stock, this is actually a brand new box that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I was able to use the 40% off. This box right here was the cheapest box I ever was able to get, ever able to get. So definitely take advantage, sorry about that. Definitely take advantage of that 40% off Hobby Lobby coupon. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, it's 40% off only one item. Uh, yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and I actually bought shirts for, I have an order for five shirts, so I was able to buy shirts that was already on sale. I was able to buy vinyl that was on sale 50% off. I was actually able to buy some um, Marsh Bars clear coat, which was not on sale, so I was able to use the 40% off. So a lot of times when I go to Hobby Lobby, most of the stuff is already on sale, and then it'd be that one item that you can use that 40% off coupon, and you'll save all the way around the board. So with the amazing clear cast, you're gonna have a part A and a part B, and I will show you how to mix it. This is how it comes inside the box. These are just two bottles that I'm currently using at the time. I use a kitchen scale. If you've been watching some of the videos on how to mix epoxy, a lot of people just have like two cups side by side. They, you know, they put a line next to each one of them. They fill part A and part B up into the cup and then they dump it into the other cup and mix it up. 
I use a, a kitchen scale. I will show you guys how to use it. I actually got this right from Amazon. It's really easy. It prevents you from how to use two and three cups just to mix part A and part B. Um, I always keep a little cup um, I use to, because on my first layer on my glitter cups is a thin layer. So I just, I like to use this cup that I got because I can just like bend it and pour it on slowly. Because like I said, a pasta costs $30 a box. So, you know, you don't want to not you want you don't want to mess it up mess up using it uh, this is my mixing cup i actually got this little cup when i had bought dr crafty uh, part a part b uh refined just just to try something different because um a lot of times i know when i get stuck to something then I, I know it work i don't try nothing else that might work that's a little bit cheaper but like i said it was Mm, I wasn't really happy with it. I always keep a mold on hand when I'm mixing epoxy. I'm doing any epoxy crafting um, projects because when you have leftover um, epoxy, you don't just want to throw it away. So if you got like the alphabet um, keychain mold, coaster molds, like this is a mold way I made some coasters and now I can, this is the part where you can sit the coasters in. So what I do is the extra epoxy that's left over at the end, I just put a little bit of glitter based on what color right now I'm doing blue and I just add it to this and it'll keep hardening on top of each other and then you'll have a coaster holder. That way you won't be just throwing away your money. You um at the end of the day you keep adding to this, eventually you'll have a coaster holder and you never threw away any of that epoxy. Like I said, epoxy costs thirty dollars a bottle. Some of the things that um when I first do it, started using the epoxy, I did buy the little epoxy brushes. Um, if you if if you haven't used epoxy before, or you thinking about getting these little brushes? So far, I found out that they was just a waste. I wouldn't waste my money on buying these. Um, I used them, started using them to spread the epoxy out, but I figured that my finger worked just just as fine. So these end up just sitting in the closet. If you don't have epoxy, if you don't have a cup turner. Um, you might want to get the Mars Plage, um a sealer. It's a clear sealer. It's supposed to be a high gloss. I have never, I'm going to be honest with you, I have never used it on any of my wine glasses or my mugs or my tumblers, but I did. If you follow me in my Facebook group, you noticed that t yesterday was the first time I glittered out one, a wine bottle. I did use the Mars Plage on the wine bottle, the wine pop um, to seal the glitter which is fine, the wine bottle, you know, it's nothing that's gonna be washed or anything. So um, the Marsh Plage works out just fine. But like I said, if you don't have the Marsh Plage um, sealer spray worked out just fine, it costs $10. I used a 40% off coupon yesterday, I got it for like six. Um, so if you don't have um, a cup turner, cause you definitely gonna need a cup turner when you're using epoxy, um, grab your um, a spray box, spray can of the Marsh Plage clear coat high sealer high gloss sealer and use that to seal your glitter on your cups. If you don't know how to glitter wine cups or tumblers or anything, just leave me a comment in the uh, below and say, hey Regina, can you make a video on how you glitter your, your wine glasses, your cups, your mugs and things like that and I will make a video. Um, the only thing about using an alternative way than epoxy to seal your glitter is you can't just throw it in a dish pan or anything like that. So if you making wine glasses or anything like that that's glitter and you're using the spray to seal it, make sure you let your um, buyers know to hand wash these items and let them hand dry. Now, another way that you can seal your glitter is once you get your glitter onto your your wine glass or your cup or your mug or whatever you glittering, you can use, this is not it, but Marsh Posh got what they call the dishwasher Marsh Posh in the purple bottle. You can put that onto your glass and that will seal the, um, the glitter. But again, you have to use um, hand wash for these items. When I use my, and of course I have a single cup turner that I'm gonna use in today's video. And then what I usually do is once I get it all um, glittered and I get all my um, epoxy on it, then I transfer it over to my full cup turner. Um, again, if you're using just Marsh Posh, microwave kind to seal your glitter, make sure you let your customers know to hand wash the glasses. I don't know how long your glasses will last if you sealing it with the spray or the Marsh Posh, but I do know with the epoxy, I have a glass side hustle queen. You seen it on my video last week. Um, I usually have it with me. I actually just got to grab a regular glass today. Um, I throw that thing in a dishwasher, wash it, everything. Sits in water for days, no problem. This is the reason why I like to use the um, epoxy clear coat. And of course, you're gonna need a pair of gloves. 
Now, normally when I mix the epoxy, I mix it outside because it do have a smell to it. But um, because for the purpose of this video, I am gonna mix it today inside the house. Um, one of the reasons why I use the American the amazing clear coat is because it's fda approved so when you out there looking for your um epoxy make sure that you get one that's fda approved okay so i'm gonna flip the video down a little bit so the camera down a little bit so you guys will be able to see what i'm doing unlike previous videos way um you didn't really get i was on some of the parts i was off camera so I did some a little bit of adjustments this week because I really want you guys to see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course, safety first. Um, I know some people that use epoxy. Some people say that the epoxy irritates their skin. They don't like to smell it because it's hazardous to your lungs and stuff. I do have a painter's mask that I normally wear when I do you when I mix in epoxy. So just make sure you know you if you want me to do a safety video on epoxy, just let me know. But basically what I do is I mix it outside in a well ventilated area. I actually apply it outside in a well ventilated area. I wear my painter's mask and I wear gloves. I haven't had any problem. It done touched my skin before I haven't had any problems. I done mixed it a few times without my painter's mask on. Let me grab and show you what my painter's mask look like. This is what I usually wear when I mix my epoxy. This might be a little bit over the top. If you have just like the mask, the N1 mask, that probably would be fine. It was just, I was able to get this at my job for $5, so I just used it just as a um, precautions. But I think that's a little bit over the top, but that's what I usually wear. Okay, so once I get my gloves applied, I need me my stick to mix up the epoxy. And I really love these sticks that you get for Dollar Tree, because like I say, when I do cups, I always do four at a time. So one popsicle to mix it, I can do 60. So four times 60 is like, what? 200 cups with just that one pack of um, popsicle sticks. So again, you can grab this hill scale. It's just a regular kitchen scale. So basically what I do is I cut my scale on. I know you guys can't see it, but the scale will start off at zero, zero. So what you want to do is once you place your cup on top, then the numbers will change. It's going to weigh the cup and you're going to push this button right here and it'll turn it back to zero. This top button right here. So basically I put my, what I'm going to put my epoxy in and it's showing me that my cup is 0.39 ounces. So what I want to do, zero. I want to take it back to zero. So now it has the weight of the cup, but it's at zero. So then I don't, some people say mix part, put A in the cup first or put B in the cup. I have done them A first, B first, B, B first, A first, mix it up, it's still the same. So what I want to do is I want to put 20, I'm putting, I'm doing 20 ounces of uh, clear coat each. And I always put mine in the middle, so, cause I don't have to worry about the size and stuff like that. Okay, I'm not, not 20 ounces, 20 grams. So now that I have part B in there, I hit the button again, and guess what? It takes it back to zero. And then all I know is I need to part part A, 20 ounces. On the second coat, when it's getting close to where it's supposed to be, I slow down. Okay, come on. Okay, slowing down. Here we go, right here. Okay, and I just evenly mix 
my part A and my part B together. Just that easy. Now I can cut my scale off and mix my part A and part B. So basically with the scale, it prevents you from having to have two cups and then the third cup when you're pouring point A, point, part A and point B into it, it prevents you from wasting money on buying all these unnecessary cups. The scale for me, I've been using the scale for over the year, over a year. I came across a video when I first was doing my research on epoxy and I seen that the lady had the kitchen scale. She didn't have all these cups laid out and that's why I went with purchasing a scale. It works out so much better and I really enjoy doing it that way. One cup and a lot of times um, what I usually do is um, if my boyfriend goes to the liquor store, I always tell him to get the little liquor store plastic cups. I usually use that and I don't really have to use this one. And um, I usually mix it right inside the plastic cups that he get from the liquor store. It's they free. So if he go to the liquor store, I always tell him don't forget to get the cups because guess what? That's a free use of a cup. And a lot of times it don't cost me nothing as far as cup wise. You always want to make sure that this, this epoxy mixed up really good. So if you, as you can see, I'm steadily going around and around the cup, making sure I get the edges. I'm steady taking my popsicle stick, making sure, cause you know, sometimes with the popsicle stick, the same, it might stick onto the popsicle stick. Just get it stirred up. Some people say if you stir it slow, it's less bubbles. Um, I just stir it. Because I, if I see any bubbles in my cups when I'm once they get on the turner, I just hit it with the um heat gun, and it just it'll it'll bust the bubbles. But um I pretty much use my finger when I'm applying my epoxy, and um I have not had any problems with but but bubbles. So I guess when I'm rubbing it on with my finger, it's um it busts the bubble. I don't know. I don't have any problems with bubbles at all. Um, I know everybody saying, might be saying, will that be enough epoxy? Because I do have, you can't see it, but I do have two glitter cups, one coffee cup and a wine glass that need to be glittered today. The first, because these cups been glittered, how I glitter my cups is I put one layer of glitter with Marsh Posh on for the first round, I let it sit for two hours to dry. Then I come with a second coat and then I let that dry overnight. So my glitter glasses has been drying overnight. Um, the first layer usually be just a thin layer of epoxy just to seal the glitter. So that's why I don't need a whole lot of epoxy to seal, to, um, to do for glasses. So the first layer is just a thin layer all over the glass to seal the glitter. And then after that spins on the right for 12 hours, I come back. Some people let theirs and spin for six hours and then they do the decal. But when I do my glasses, it's no big rush, even though one of these glasses is for order. And one of the glasses is the glass for, don't forget to add your friends and family who love crafting, who want to purchase crafting, or who just want to know about crafting to the group. Because when we get to 50 members, I am giving away a side hustle queen crafting and vacationing um, glass. And one of the glasses that we're gonna put epoxy on today is the glass that I'm giving away. So basically what I do is I put the thin layer first, thin layer of epoxy on, let it um, roll, um, spin for 12 hours, come back with the decal, and I put the second thin layer of epoxy on, and my cups always come out perfect. I just did a big order. If you guys remember for Valentine's Day, I think it was what, 21 um, cups, same method, same way. Now, if I'm in a rush and I really need to get a cup done quickly, because with the Mosh Posh, it's a lot of drying time, which is right now I'm working on an order for my Scrabble Letters DIY, so I ordered a, a big order on that. So what I used to do it's fine to let these spin for 12 hours, but if I'm in a rush and I need to get a glass done and don't have time to be wasting, just letting it dry with Mod Podge, I use this Tyke It Tyke On Glue. It's pretty much an instant dry with the glitter. You put the glitter on, 
you put the tank it on, um, glue on, you let it dry for about maybe two minutes, you put the glitter on, rub the excess glitter off, and you ready for the next layer, and then you're ready for the epoxy. You have your cup ready for epoxy within maybe 20 minutes using the tie kit, um, the tie kit over and over glue method. But again, this is not the marsh pods you pretty much can pick up anywhere. You can get it from the Dollar Tree for $1. But with this tie kit glue, um, this is a little bit more expensive glue. I think I paid like $12 for six. So um, like I say, unless I'm just having a rush order, I do not use um, the tie kit glue. It's just for quick orders for emergency purposes only. Um, I do smell the epoxy a little bit, but not that much. But like I said, um, make sure you do your research. Uh, like I say, some people say they respiratory problems and stuff like that. That's why I make sure that I use the epoxy that's FDA approved and I do wear a mask when I mix in epoxy and I definitely normally use it in a well ventilated place, which is outside on my balcony. So now that we got that all mixed up, I got my single cup turner first. And what I usually do is I apply the epoxy onto the cup using my single cup turner. Let me get that. This is just the extra glitter that's falling off that didn't, that didn't dry. I usually do it on my single cup turner first and then I transfer it over to the four cup turner. It's just a lot easier. And some people put a piece of paper or a plate right up under the cup to catch any extra epoxy. We're just gonna slide this piece of paper right under the cup. Okay, so this is actually the wine glass that's actually the match to the wine bottle that I made yesterday. It's actually outside drying as we speak. So, I always, because the cup turner will spin um, two different ways, I always do it so that the cup turner is spinning to, to me. I found that's just easier for me to apply the epoxy. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this cup right here. And like I say, I like to fold the cup and get that thin layer on there. And just use my finger. What you don't, you want to avoid having globs of epoxy on your cups. So that's something that you don't want to do. Now you might see a little bit of glitter, that's fine. You just get it smoothed on out. Make sure it's rolled all the way through. And then extra. I do tape off the top of my glass right at the rims. And what I do once the epoxy, once it is spin for a few minutes with the epoxy on it, I just remove that so that the tape will not get sealed in with the glitter. Because this is a wine glass, I usually push any extra epoxy that's sitting on down to the bottom before I start adding more to the stem. And so that's just my thin layer to go ahead and seal. Make sure that that top rim has that epoxy on it. And like I said, you don't, this little layer right here, you really don't have to let it then for 12 hours, you really can get away with doing it for six. But I just like mine to have that hard shell. When I do um, add my decal, the wine glasses is a little bit 
more because it has same method let's get that get it rubbed in and then if you miss a spot on the first layer you always have that second layer that you're gonna come back to because I done had a glass where I missed a spot. And if you see any um, lumps or anything like that, just get you some sandpaper after the first layer. And um, you can pretty much sand it out and then seal it with the second layer. You still gonna have that, that nice shiny coat. I have had to sand some of my cups before because of a bug or something got onto the so i used to try to spin my cups outside but uh bugs would get on too into the epoxy and i have to pull them off and then uh it usually leave like a little hole or something and um i would have to sand that part off so i stop once i get the epoxy onto the cup the cup turn um whatever I'm um, putting epoxy on, I bring it on in the house and let it spin. Guess what? That's that cup. Thin layer of epoxy. I'm not gonna hold you guys up because this video has went into 30 minutes. My main goal was just to show you guys how I mix my epoxy and how I apply my epoxy. Um I'm after this here, after it spins for 12 hours, I'm just gonna add my decal and let it spin for another 20 hours and this cup will repeat the same thing that i just did and um this cup will be ready to go so i hope you guys learned a little bit on how to add how to mix epoxy and how to add epoxy um to your glitter project so that you can seal them and that they will come out with a nice clear coat um i guess i will see you guys next week when i give you guys another diy tip on, on some of the DIY projects that I do. Don't forget to um, follow me in my Facebook group and don't forget to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week.